This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord said over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Today is the memorial of St. Peter Julian Aymard, born in 1811 in France. He entered the Society of Mary, or the Marists, which is the order our own bishop belongs to, but founded from the Marist order the Blessed Sacrament Fathers, a congregation for priests and also a congregation for sisters to promote devotion to the Blessed Eucharist. Especially at a time in France when uh, frequent communion, for example, was very rare. This Holy Mass is offered for the repose of the soul of Norbert. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <coughs> Let us pray. O God, who adorned St. Peter Julian Amard, with a wonderful love for the sacred mysteries of the body and blood of your Son. Graciously grant that we too may be worthy to receive the delights he drew from this divine banquet. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. <coughs> A reading from the Book of Numbers. The sons of Israel began to wail. Who will give us meat to eat, they said. Think of the fish we used to eat free in Egypt. The cucumbers, melons, leeks, onions and garlic. Here we are wasting away, stripped of everything. There is nothing but manna for us to look at. The manna was like coriander seed and had the appearance of bdellium. The people went round gathering it and ground it in a mill or crushed it with a pestle. It was then cooked in a pot and made into pancakes. It tasted like cake made with oil. When the dew fell on the camp at night time, the manna fell with it. Moses heard the people wailing, every family at the door of its tent. The anger of the Lord flared out, and Moses greatly worried over this, and he spoke to the Lord. Why do you treat your servant so badly? Why have I not found favour with you, so that you load on me the weight of all this nation? Was it I who conceived all this people? Was it I who gave them birth, that you should say to me, carry them in your bosom like a nurse with a baby at the breast to the land that I swore to give their fathers? Where am I to find meat to give all this people when they come worrying me so tearfully and say, give us meat to eat? I am not able to carry this nation by myself alone. The weight is too much for me. If this is how you want to deal with me, I would rather you killed me. If only I had found favour in your eyes and not lived to see such misery as this. The word of the Lord. 
Bring out your joy to God our strength. My people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last for ever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat, and fill them with honey from the rock. <coughs> Alleluia, alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. No one can come to the Father except through me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus received the news of John the Baptist's death, he withdrew by boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But the people heard of this, and leaving the towns, went after him on foot. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he took pity on them and healed their sick. When evening came, the disciples went to him and said, this is a lonely place, and the time has slipped by, so send the people away, and they can go to the villages to buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, There is no need for them to go. Give them something to eat yourselves. But they answered, All we have is five loaves and two fish. Bring them here to me, he said. He gave orders that the people were to sit down on the grass, and he took the five loaves and the two fish, raised his eyes to heaven, and said the blessing. And breaking the loaves, he handed them to his disciples, who gave them to the crowds. They all ate as much as they wanted, and they collected the scraps remaining, twelve baskets full. Those who ate numbered about five thousand men, to say nothing of women and children. The Gospel of the Lord.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Receive, our Lord, these offerings of your people on the feast day of blessed Peter Julian, so that through them, according to our confident hope, we may experience the help of your loving kindness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Yes. Lift up your hearts. Yes. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. <laughs> It is truly right to give you thanks, truly just to give you glory, Father most holy. For you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding for all eternity, dwelling in unapproachable light. Yet you who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night, and gazing upon the glory of your face glorify you without ceasing. With them we too confess your name in exaltation, giving voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. Holy. <clears throat> Blessed is you who come to the name. We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Saviour. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation to prisoners' freedom and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death. And rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly Pray that may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us. <clears throat> Therefore, O oh Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and in your loving kindness to all who partake, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. <coughs> Therefore, Lord, remember not all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant a merciful Father that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, <coughs> we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us show each other a sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord.
I have come that they may have life and have it more abundantly, says the Lord.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Replenished by the sacred body and the precious blood of your Son, we pray, our Lord, our God, that what we celebrate with loving devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The fourth the Mass is ended. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sins, morning and week, in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious earth, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our enter, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy Lord Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray. And to thou, our Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down into hell Satan and all the wicked spirits, the wonderful the world, and the ruin of souls. Most sacred heart of Jesus, our Lady of Lord, Saint Joseph, Saint Peter Julian, Holy Guardian Angels, 